Um, so I'm doing some quick packing and I say quick packing because I'm slowly losing daylight. Uh, thanks to daylight savings time, it is not even five. Hey, I'm trying to do a video. Uh, it's not even five o'clock, so I'm kind of It's okay. It's just Ava. So I'm, trying so I'm trying to get this done quick. We're doing a photo. Uh, we're doing a photo shoot in Alabama. We're leaving tomorrow. We're shooting for Bonafide Kayaks, the new RVR 119, which is the new river boat uh, from Bonafide. And it is, Nelly, no. I can't get anything done around here. Traveling tomorrow, leaving at nine o'clock in the morning. I've already got the boats loaded. This is the camera boat outfitted with the XI3 from Motor Guide so we can put around the river and keep up with the two RVR 119s that we have. I'll be on one and then our lead designer, Hans Nuts is gonna, Nuts, Newts, Hans Newts, he's gonna kill me when he sees this. Our lead designer, Hans Newts is gonna be on one. I'm in the new steel colorway in the 119 and then he'll be rocking the Venom color. Um, so we have two different, totally different colors on the spectrum uh, and they look really good on camera uh, so we're setting ourselves up for an amazing photo shoot unfortunately these two knuckleheads will not be in attendance because i can't have two gsps on a kayak in the river that's just not gonna work being it ain't gonna work and i'm sorry I'm, you gotta stay here hold down the fort remy jean i'm counting on you y'all two better behave i know remy's gonna behave are you gonna behave Okay, all right, thank you. I am just gonna walk down the kayak pretty quickly in an effort to save some time. I also uh, wanna keep this somewhat discreet. I don't wanna release everything on this boat quite yet, uh, but we'll start off at the bow. And this is what I mean by incorporated angler-friendly features. We've got a roller up here that's gonna be attached to an anchor wizard, so you can have a drop-down uh, bomb anchor. And it's got this nice little uh, recessed area up in here for that bomb to kind of come up and shield its way you know, into the kayak and not be dangling around uh, so you have the internal anchor wizard line going all the way down nice little roller and then coming back here uh, we've got a bonafide boss strap for your paddle and then here this is something really neat we've got a uh, secondary strap just behind the boss strap and this is going to be able to uh, tie down any of your gear if you've got a dry bag up here uh, you can sense that down real quick and then this doubles as a rod stager so it's a two-piece part uh, it's got velcro on one side so when this is strapped in you'll be able to organize uh, your rod tips during travel and then I'll show you something else. Well, I'll talk about it here in a second, but you've also got some rod stagers up underneath the seat. So during travel, you can have those staged back there and then all of your tips can be tied down using this strap. And then coming back even further, we've got the uh, bonafide dry pod system, which is incorporated uh, into our SS series. So we brought that over because it's just such a great part. And then we've got our aluminum rails, uh, foot rails. We've got the same uh, foot pegs that are on the SS series as well. And then we've got, of course, our marine mat, our deck traction kit that's on here, uh, just like every other boat. And then I'll bring you a little bit closer to show you this feature. Kind of cool, actually. One of the biggest gripes and complaints uh, that people have is they don't know where to put uh, their catch board. So we integrated two spots into the deck. So the first spot here is going to be your measuring spot and that just goes across the boat just like that. And then you've also got a storage option. If my dogs would, hey, if my dogs would hush, you've got a storage option up underneath the seat. It's just going to lay in between your legs just like that. So you've got two options there, one for measuring, of course, so you can bring it out, measure your fish, and then you can stow it back up underneath uh, the seat just like that. And then on both sides of the kayak, you're going to have these little mounting plates. Uh, one actually is an internal access plate that's on the other side, and then this one here uh, you can use to mount your throttle control for your Torquedo. And then directly behind that, you've got some more track space uh, to mount your anchor wheel wizards and the one on the left hand side routes all the way to the back so it does have an option here uh, to go internally and then that one on the right hand side routes all the way up inside the kayak and out the bow so <laughs> dual anchor wizards is going to be freaking sick of course we don't uh, sell these with the kayak we will however uh, be offering an option on our website uh, to purchase these kits and then at the stern here we do have an oversized tank well that'll fit a black pack of course with our omni hook system on there uh, to seamlessly hold it down and then we do have an access plate back here but this is what's really cool There's 
there's this deep channel in the back. Again, your anchor wizard is running internally and that deep channel can house a drag chain. So you can pull that chain all the way up in underneath that handle and let it rest on the top there to get it out of the way. So that's, that's really cool. That's one of my favorite features and I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to using this drag chain. Both dogs are staring at me like I'm crazy, but I forgot this, but this is one of the most important features on a river boat. You have to have ultimate control of your vessel and whenever you need it, this is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna come up here. You've got a handle on the right hand side of your seat and that's gonna eject, that's gonna eject the rudder system here, the little skeg on the bottom. So you've got some really nice control with this boat. If you want it to be squirty, you can lift this up. If you want some extra traction, go ahead and knock that bad boy down. But this is a really clean system on this skeg and it's integrated really nicely. Look at that. This is the Big Daddy Titan 13.5. This joker probably weighs 200 pounds. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, it's supposed to cloud up. It looks like around uh, noon, it's supposed to get heavy clouds. The building is gonna be pretty dang nice. Yeah. Uh, I saw some top water hits over there. Oh. Um, with that motor, yes. I noticed that there wasn't a, a locking pin. Oh God. It's right here. Well, we've been using it. Well, there's, this? it doesn't like lock in a place physically. Like uh, there's not a little clip that. Oh, like on the other side here. Well, it's been working. I think it's good. Roll with it. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to try to. I don't know. What? It, how does it typically lock? It has a little silver thing right here that it's physically slides, right slides into place. Okay, this is. What you got? Yes. Plug it in. I'm always worried about ele I, I electrical understand. stuff because it worked when we left. Yes. I plugged it in before we left, so. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, Big baby. Big money, no whammy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Damn, get Come ready on. to paddle. Proud to paddle. Proud to paddle. My cheeks are shaking. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Give it to me. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I like that sound. Yep. Woo! I like that oh. sound. Because no, you never know, like. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, touch. gosh. I haven't touched anything. <laughs> we have a remote. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We got a battery for the power pole. And this is a manual up and down type, right? For this. Do you. Do we have the cord or no? Yeah, do you want a cord? It would be probably good for this particular run just because we might yeah. have to be pretty quick on the draw. Well, as soon as we get it off, I can put one on okay, there. that's fine. All right, you ready for this? I am. Do you all think 21? First, like, just swing around this way. You're asking a what whole lot. You don't have to pick it up yet. Just, where do you, where can I grab to help to? Uh, this side right here, the two handles thing. Something. Cam. Okay. Yep. Cam available. Yeah, I'm coming. I don't really have a whole lot of grip. <laughs> on this, come around this way, Cam. There's two handles on that side once we get it off the uh, rack here. Okay. Two, I'm yep. worried about this. Where you're grabbing. Oh, God. Watch. Right now, I'm just gonna set up this Titan 13.5 with a lift line for our XI3 because we are gonna be in some gnarly water today. And we wanna be able to, uh, to get this motor up and out of the water as quickly as possible uh, when we hit those certain situations so we can prevent uh, us breaking this thing. Uh, let's see here. I have this little bag up front. Is that a pitchboard or the pitchboard? Oh, computer? yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, if that's in the shot, okay. just let us know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have one. Are we turning it around or are you just keeping it like this? You can keep it like that. Okay. And three, two, one, let's go. Oh. 
And three. Hold up. And three, two, one, go for it. Three, two, one, go for it. Oh my God. I need to loosen this thing up a little bit. And my chest is getting a little big. Go for it. Dad gummit. Sweet. Whew, I do need to loosen this thing up. Okay, here we go. We got a we got a dry floor, that's nice. It feels nimble. It feels very nimble. I have a feeling I can paddle this thing pretty quickly. Very squirty. Hans is rocking the Torquedo 1103 on the back of the RVR and that is a mounting plate on the back that we will sell uh, once we launch the RVR. Hammer down Hans, let's see that thing. Woo! You can get spun around, you can just grab on and hold on to this or just grab on to the side of my boat. Here comes the camera boat. Motor Guide XI3 up front. Shoo. That thing's scoot, man. We're finally on the river. I'm being towed to the first location by Mr. Hans Newts. He's got the Torquedo 1103 on the back of his RVR 119. We're gonna try to get a mile or so down river before we start shooting. There's a set of shoals that we're gonna come up to, kind of hang out there and fish for a little bit. But for now, I'm being towed. I don't have a motor right now, so I'm relying on Hans today. But so far, first impressions of the RVR have been, you know, fantastic. Trims really well. Uh, it's very squirty in the back, which that's kind of what you want out of a riverboat. Uh, that's why we have a built-in skeg on this thing. So as soon as you drop that bad boy down, uh, you get instant tracking. So best of both worlds. And let's get it today. Let's, let's catch some fish. Let's get on it. Beautiful day out here in Wetumpka, Alabama.
pause when we get through the shoals, next set of shoals and fish for a minute. Go to the next set of shoals and fish for a minute. I missed the excitement at the ramp this morning. Oh. Thanks, son. One more time. One more time. That ain't bad. Sorry. I know. Come on with it. Let's go, Wee Tonka. Oh, I need to get over there. And we're rolling. And let it down easy. Going through the shot list right now, making sure we've got everything. Cam, how are we looking so far? Doing good. River's flowing nicely. The weather's beautiful. Yes, sir. We're finally done with the RVR 119 shoot down in Wetumpka, Alabama for Bonafide Kayaks. A couple things to take away from this trip. This was the first time that I've been in the RVR. We just produced these, only two right now in existence. So uh, a couple things to take away. First off, I didn't feel like I was losing any room from stepping from the SS-127 to the RVR-119. We like to keep similar cockpit spaces uh, between our models. So the 107, SS-127, RS, RVR-119, they all have uh, similar room up front. So you're not losing any space, which is great. Second thing I noticed right off the bat, uh, the performance of this bow up here, this big bulbous bow, it's gonna punch through waves, it's gonna get up over chop. Uh, I felt super confident going down some of these class threes um, yesterday. And uh, I tell you what, I'm not a big river fisherman, uh, so I have very little river um, paddling experience in conditions like that. So for me to come out there, you know, on my first day, get through all this stuff, not a problem. Uh, very confident, inspiring in that aspect. Uh, third big thing that I, that I wanna take away from this trip, um, you know, kind of plays along with the performance. Um, this boat is very squirty, it's very maneuverable. It's not uh, typical of some of the, uh, you know, pontoon style boats that we make here at Bonafide. This one does have a hybrid catamaran house, hybrid catamaran, uh, hole on it as well um, it's just it's just not as deep um, as the ss series uh, so we loosened up that catamaran just a bit and you know gave it some maneuverability but the big thing here is but 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 it's got a drop down skeg on the back so if you want to lock down that traction um, you know whenever you get into a long uh, straight of paddling you can drop down that skeg and you know you can track on a dime so that's that's the big big probably the biggest feature um, that I would say biggest takeaway um, from this boat that makes it different from uh, other river kayaks so we're gonna wrap this bad boy up we got about five and a half hours ish I say five and a half because we lose an hour going back to Greenville so we're gonna get on the road and get home as quickly as we can Alabama we love you we Tonka we love you 
had an awesome time. We will definitely be back to fish the coos. So this has been some of the best fishing, not anything big, um, but we've caught a lot of fish, a lot of pretty, pretty looking fish. So we definitely want to come back in the spring and light it up some more. So we out.